Hello, Cosmic Explorers. Welcome back to another space trotting journey with Dr. Astra, your friendly intergalactic guide. Today, we're delving into an intellectual deep dive into the fascinating cosmos of a thought, provoking theory, the anthropic principle. This philosophical and scientific concept beckons us to ponder upon the very existence of life in this vast universe. So, are you ready to join me as we explore this cosmic maze, turning corners, and traversing spirals of knowledge in our quest for understanding. Then let's jump into our intellectual spaceships and blast off into the realm of cosmic curiosities. Part one, what is the anthropic principle? At the heart of our journey today is the anthropic principle, a concept that has intrigued scientists and philosophers alike. Imagine standing at the edge of the universe, peering into its vast expanse and asking, did you dear universe, conspire to host life, especially conscious beings like us. In essence, the anthropic principle proposes just this, that observations of the universe are inherently tied to the existence of the observer. Interestingly, this principle comes in two intriguing versions, the weak's and the strong anthropic principle. The weak anthropic principle proposes a cosmic acknowledgement of sort. It underlines that our universe seems to possess a Goldilocks, like perfect combination of conditions for life to exist. Not too hot, not too cold, it's just right. However, the strong anthropic principle takes a leap further. It provocatively suggests that our universe isn't merely accommodating life, it has been intricately designed to do so. Now, that's a mind bender, isn't it? Part two, is this science or philosophy? As we journey deeper into the heart of the anthropic principle, we find ourselves standing on the bridge between two fascinating worlds, science and philosophy. This principle, while rooted firmly in the soil of physics and cosmology, extends its branches into the sketches into the sky of philosophy, intermingling. These two diverse fields in a fascinating dance. The anthropic principle serves as a torchbearer, illuminating how our understanding of the physical world influences and is influenced by our philosophical perspectives. The principle nudges us to reconsider our place in the cosmos. Are we mere accidental byproducts of a long, complex cosmic history, or do we hold a special place in the grand cosmic narrative? Part three, implications of the anthropic principle. As we venture further, we find ourselves gazing into the abyss of the profound implications of the anthropic principle. One could say that we're trying to peer beyond the event horizon of human knowledge, venturing into the realm of cosmic conundrums and existential queries. If the universe is indeed designed for life, does it then imply intent, purpose, perhaps even a designer? Could it be that life is not just an accidental byproduct of cosmic evolution, but an inevitable outcome of cosmic design? Delving deeper, if the universe and its laws have been fine, tuned to accommodate life, should we consider ourselves significant after all? Or perhaps, as some suggest, it merely underscores our insignificance? After all, we're the products of a universe that didn't necessarily need us to exist, but merely made it possible for life forms such as us to emerge. Now that's a humbling perspective. Part four, what do the experts say? The anthropic principle, much like a nebula, emits colorful streams of reactions from the scientific and philosophical communities. On one side, we have luminaries such as physicist John D. Barrow, who embraces this principle as a new paradigm, merging our understanding of the cosmos and our place. And in it, on the other hand, critics such as philosopher Robert Todd Carroll view the anthropic principle as a tautology, a circular argument that doesn't explain anything, a cosmic echo of it is what it is. Despite the disparity in views, it's intriguing to note that the anthropic principle does not stand in opposition to scientific inquiry. It provokes us to question, to explore, and perhaps even redefine our understanding of the universe and our place in it. Isn't that, after all, the spirit of scientific pursuit? Tart 5. The anthropic principle's competitors. Just when we thought we were getting comfortable with this intriguing principle, we're introduced to a couple of formidable challenges, the Copernican Principle and the Multiverse Hypothesis. The Copernican Principle, named after the renowned astronomer Nicolaus Copernicus, proposes that we, 
aren't unique observers. According to this theory, we and our home planet are far from being special guests in the grand cosmic ball. Instead, we blend seamlessly into the cosmic background like countless other. The multiverse hypothesis, another contender, takes this argument to an entirely new level. This theory doesn't stop at implying that we're not unique in our universe. It boldly declares that our universe itself isn't unique. Instead, it's part of an infinite array of universes, each with its unique laws and constants. It's as though we're participants in a cosmic lottery with life permitting universes like ours, just an inevitable lucky draw in the grand scheme of things. Conclusion? Well, cosmic explorers, it seems we've traversed the expanses of the anthropic principle, navigating through a maze of theories, contradictions, and profound implications. Whether you view this principle as an insightful lens to understand our universe or dismiss it as philosophical musings, it's undeniable that the anthropic principle stimulates our curiosity and challenges our perspectives. As we conclude this journey, remember that we are but tiny travelers aboard the pale blue dot, voyaging across the cosmic ocean, unraveling the mysteries of the universe, one theory at a time. In the words of the great Carl Sagan, we are a way for the cosmos to know itself. So, until our next cosmic adventure, this is Dr. Astra signing off. Keep looking up and stay curious. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey through the cosmos. We'd love to hear your thoughts on the anthropic principle. Do you think the universe is fine, tuned for life, or is it all just an astounding cosmic coincidence? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more cosmic adventures with Dr. Astra. Until next time, remember, we are all stardust exploring the cosmos.